Exercise 2 introduces the quarter rest to our sight reading. The quarter rest gets one count and 4-4 four, four time signature. It's the same duration as a quarter note, only it's active silence. So when you get to the quarter rest on count 3, you remain silent for that count. Exercise 2 is written in 4-4 four, four time signature. In other words, each measure has the equivalent of four quarter notes. And the math should add up. In measure two, count one gets a quarter, count two gets a quarter, count three has a quarter rest, it's still a quarter, and count four has a quarter. You add them all up and it's the top number in four four times signature. If we look at measure four, count one gets a quarter, count two has a quarter rest, an eighth note plus an eighth note equals a quarter, and count four gets a quarter. That's the equivalent of four quarter notes within the measure. We can do this all day long. Measure 22, a quarter rest, a quarter rest. Two eighth notes equal one quarter, and then a quarter rest. You add them all up and it's the equivalent of four quarter notes within each measure. Okay, it's time to get to work. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the introduction page for the first E string, there you will find these nine points. Now these nine points are the prep work for sight reading. We're gonna break down a piece of music to increase your efficiency for reading music. So it's something that will become a habit eventually, but I'm going to continue to remind you for each sight reading exercise. Exercise two only uses the open E string, and for that reason, we're gonna skip points one and two. Those two have to do with fretted notes. So we're gonna skip down to point number three, and that's just a reminder to alternate. So if you're a flat picker, make sure that you alternate using down and up strokes. And if you're a classical or flamenco guitarist, don't forget to alternate your index and middle fingers using free and rest strokes. When using a pick, don't forget to alternate using down and up strokes. Down and up strokes are simply faster than all up or all down, so it's a good habit to get into early on. Now when you get to the quarter rest, you can use the pick to stop the sound and prepare the next note. So if we take the first measure, on count one we have a down stroke with a quarter note, an up stroke with a quarter note on count two, and then on that quarter rest on count three we can use the pick to stop the sound, and then we're prepared for the quarter note on count four. So here's how it looks and sounds. One, two, rest, four. So we use the pick not only to stop the sound, but to prepare the next note. Now, if you're using fingerstyle, especially you flamenco and classical guitar players, don't forget to alternate your index and middle finger. Two fingers are faster than one, so it's a good habit to get into early on. Now, just as we did with the picking example, you can also use a finger to stop the note and prepare the next note. So on the first measure, we have an index finger on count one, a middle finger on count two, and then you can use the index finger to stop the sound on the quarter rest on count three, and now it's already prepared and ready to play on count four with that quarter note. So here's how it looks and sounds on measure one. One, two, rest, four. So we use the index finger not only to stop the sound on count three, but to prepare the next quarter note on count four. Point number four is all about the count. So I want you to print out the page, get out a pencil, and you're gonna count the rhythms on the page with your voice as you tap counts one, two, three, and four with your pencil. When you get to the quarter rest, you can either say the word rest or remain silent for that count. And don't forget about the and syllable on the eighth notes. Now I've written the counts in above each of these measures from measures one through eight. But if you want to continue doing that, go for it. That's not cheating. So for example, if on measure nine, you want to write in the counts, you'll put in a count one over this quarter note, count two over this quarter note, count three over this eighth note, the and of three over this eighth note, and then you can write count four over this quarter rest. I'm going to demonstrate with you by counting from measures one through eight at 50 beats per minute on the metronome. If that's too fast, you can always slow me down on the media player. I'll give a four count and we'll begin. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, three, and one. Three and one and three and four. One and three and four. Three and three and. Points five through seven are non relevant since they are dealing with fretted notes. So that brings us to point number eight. And this is another rhythm exercise, only you're going to do this along with the guitar. So get out your music and your guitar, and you're going to play the rhythms on the page as you count one, two, three, four with your voice. And this one's a little different with the counting in that when you get to the rest, I want you to go ahead and say the count. So even though you're silent on the note, I want you to say the count out loud. And the reason for that is so that you don't lose the count. You're showing that you know what a quarter rest does by killing the note on that count. And also, don't forget about the and syllable on the eighth notes. To demonstrate, I'm going to count with you from measures one through eight at 50 beats per minute on the metronome. If this is too fast, you can always slow me down on the media player. I'll give a four count, and we'll begin. One, two three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, three, and four. One, and two, three, and four. Four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Point number nine, and that's training your eyes to look ahead of the note that you're playing. Expert sight readers can see several notes ahead of what they're performing. And much like in the way you would read a book, especially when you're reading out loud, as you're saying one word, your eyes are scanning the page for the next word. What you don't want to do is get your eyes locked on count two, only to be surprised by the two faster eighth notes on count three. So as you're playing count two, you want to go ahead and pre-rehearse count three before you play them. And by doing so, you're going to become a much more efficient sight reader.